today i am going to show you how to use allowed schema field in kubedb databases to actually allow certain schema manager and disallow certain schema manager so let's start here uh, you can see an example of mongodb databases which api version is uh, kubedb.com on alpha 2 here you can see that uh, allowed schema field sub support the namespaces and selector to actually select the namespaces and uh, the schema manager actually to, to select them. Why we are using uh, this two field? Because uh, we are actually implementing double opt in. You can imagine double opt in as a mutual agreement or contract between the service provider and service receiver. If you are, if you own a database server, obviously you will not uh, uh, let everyone to use this server without a permission. And uh, this, uh, these things is actually a permission. You are giving permission to certain instances, certain schema manager to use this server. Here you can see that uh, there are two fields in alert schemas under alert schemas. First one is namespaces, namespaces and second one is the selector and uh, this namespaces field contains a from and some selector and this is obviously a direct selector and if you uh, already know that kubernetes selectors support two things number one is match levels and number two is match expression so you can uh, simply use match levels and match expressions to use uh, to actually uh, match by levels and expressions. We will uh, show some examples obviously so that you can put it here. And in same thing here. So this is the uh, main structure of alert schemas here. In a uh, from, we can use the same or selector or all. Same means the same namespace will be allowed. The DB, the DB, in the DB namespace, the database server is running. So if the schema manager is running in DB namespace, that will be allowed. Otherwise, not. The, this is what same means and selector uh, means it, it, you should select the namespaces from that, that one so this one means you should select the namespaces from this thing and all means all the databases are allowed for schema manager and in uh, inside the selectors match levels and match expression you can here uh, see the examples here Match levels is uh, directly the level uh, which uh, your namespace has. So if your uh, namespace has this level, that namespace will be allowed to actually contain the schema manager. And uh, this selector uh, will be select will select the schema manager instance. Here you can uh, see that match levels is this one. So if your schema manager have this level that will be allowed to actually use our database server we could also use uh, the match expressions here so if we give a match expression example that will be uh, something like this match expression and under this you should uh, specify the key suppose the key is uh, that one that's good that's good the key is that one and if you already know that this is this contains an operator field operator suppose the operator is not in and the values are values is an array so inside array we are using them so here you are saying that uh, if the level uh, the levels of your namespace is uh, something other than demo that will be allowed 
So if your uh, namespace have Kubernetes dot io metadata dot name uh, dev, that will be allowed. But if uh, the namespace have demo value, that will not be allowed. So in uh, in this way, you can actually allow and disallow certain schema measure to actually use the database server you have. Thanks for watching.